Hey guys, Mary Ann here with Shopping Crafty. It is the end of the first month of 2018 and it's time to check in and see how I did on my budget. This year I am trying really hard to focus on what my goals are and keeping track and being specific. So I will go over some of those things. I tracked all of my expenses, which is great. Sorry if the camera's moving, my cat is walking right next to it. I tracked all of my expenses, which is budgeting 101, but it's hard to actually do that sometimes. <laughs> you just get discouraged and you don't want to. Okay, I used a reusable bag at the grocery store every time I went grocery shopping. I kept remembering to put it back into my purse. It works great, and yeah. I saved, probably at most, I saved like a dollar, but you know what? That's a dollar a month for like the rest of my life. So it does add up, not very quickly, but ultimately it adds up. Say hello! He's so sweet. Okay. I kept track of almost all of my business expenses and I also had to start really thinking about what counts. I realized I should have saved the receipt from a trip I took to Walmart where I got a face mask because I've had really dry skin lately and I'm trying to make that better. I'm an actress. That That's actually a business expense because I need my face to not be gross. <laughs> and I got some clothes to wear to auditions and some nail polish. Those things are both for YouTube and for acting. So those are business expenses. I should have saved that receipt. Also, my internet definitely counts because I do YouTube and I write and edit from home. Internet, I mainly use internet for work. That is deductible. Even my phone, I use my phone for YouTube and for work, primarily. Those are what I use my phone for. So it's just changing my mindset of what, what am I spending my money on? And it's mind boggling how much of what I spend can be deducted. So much stuff. And now that I'm keeping track of it, it's more clear than ever. So I'm glad I'm doing that. All right. I got a $100 bonus from the place where I work. Well, I didn't actually get it yet. I'll probably get it next month, but I earned a $100 bonus by doing all the steps of service for a secret shopper, and I got 100%, and that means I get $100. And then I fixed my income discrepancy with the lady I nanny for, so I made sure that I made the proper amount of money. All right, now, how much did I pay off? Sorry, my cat's making a mess of this footage because he's shaking the camera. He's jumping around. Okay, last month I had $25,557 of debt. Ooh. This month I was hoping to get under $25,000. I didn't, spoiler alert. I paid off $402.39. Not bad. It's a little more than the minimums, but I would want to do more. Right now I have $25,154.61 of debt. It's so much. But this month I am paying for renewing my passport and I started doing my savings challenge, which I think starting to save more money is a priority at this point, especially because my computer, half the time when I try to work from home on that computer for writing, I end up spending three or four hours just getting my computer to work, starting it over again and again and again, downloading updates again and again and again. The internet stops working on it for no reason, so you have to uninstall all the internet hard software and re-download it, but they tell you to go to a website and you're like, but the problem is my internet's not working. My computer is a mess. So it's really, just this month it's been really nice to think, but I already have saved up over $100 towards my next computer. And I'm going to save more next month. I, I, I finally have savings coming up for that which is good. It's just slowing down the debt snowball. And I don't think I made that much money this month. I think it was a lower amount 
than would be normal. I ended up having to take more days off of work for self-care. I hurt my shoulder. I have chronic shoulder pain and it started getting to the point where I I was feeling nauseous. I think sort of in the way that people feel nauseous when they have migraines sort of a thing where it's just you just don't you can't you can't go serve tables especially when you carry trays. I, I couldn't. So I had to take off a couple days and I feel like I ended up having a decent amount of downtime this past month so hopefully next month I can make a little bit more and put a little bit more towards debt but we'll see I don't know I have to buy a plane ticket soon for going to see my nephew he's not born yet but he's on the way he's due in March so gotta start saving for that all right so that was my month how was your month I'm so frustrated that I still have credit card debt I thought that would be long gone months and months and months ago but that's just not how life is shaken out and it's gonna happen soon it's gonna happen it's not going as fast as i want it to but that's okay as long as i'm still making progress how are you doing do you have any hang-ups like that where you your estimate was way off for some reason just because life is more complicated than sometimes you like to pretend it is when you're making plans all right, if you guys haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great February. Hey guys, I just realized I forgot to mention the Budget Buddies. We are now collaborating on all of our budget reviews for the month. It is a bunch of frugal financial YouTubers. We have a community and we are trying to support each other especially with YouTube's new policies so please be sure to check out the monthly budget review of all of those lovely ladies I'll try to put a link to the videos at the end of this or you can definitely find links to their channels down below in the description please like and subscribe to all of their videos to help our community grow stronger and share your favorite channel I don't know do something cool <laughs>